What would you do today if someone brought you a truckload of gold? Said, here's your gold, do what you want with it, it's yours. Think about what you would do with all of that gold. Why, why would we be excited about something like that? Well, we understand the value of gold. We know how in our economy that it's something that, that still today uh, retains value. It's something that's retained value for many, many, many years on the earth. So we know the value of it. First Peter chapter 1, verse number 7 says, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, that gold will perish. The Bible tells us that the trial of our faith is actually more precious. It, it has more of a value. It has more of a, an importance than that of gold. Whatever we're dealing with right now uh, in, your, in your own personal life, if you're, if you're dealing with sorrow, grief, or doubt, or whatever might be going in your heart right now, that, that your faith is being tried, and as it's being tried, we can get a really bad attitude about it. We can be uh, upset about it. We can maybe blame people. We could maybe even get bitter, and, and hopefully not, but we could even get bitter at God because of those things. The reason is we don't put the right value on those trials. The Bible tells us that that trial is, is worth more than gold that perishes. So put the right value on those things. Well, the end of the verse says, though it be tried, uh, tried by fire, that it might be found under the praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. It's all storing up treasures is what it is. So praise God for the, the gold that he's given you, better than gold that he's given you by giving you a trial. It's a gift from God. Maybe our attitude towards it needs to change a little bit. Y'all have a great day.